All right, what's up guys? My name's John. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video about what I think are the most cinematic settings for the DJI Mavic Pro. I just got this drone about a week and a half ago and I've done a fair amount of testing with the footage and coloring and post. I think I'm pretty happy with the settings I've come up with. To start off, in order to change the settings, you're gonna hit the adjustment button right under the record button. And once you have that open, your first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you're in manual exposure. I'm not going to go too in detail about exposure in this video because I think that's an entirely different topic. If you want a video about how to set exposure uh, for a cinematic feel, let me know in the comments. So once you have a proper exposure set, you're going to head over into the video size menu. Uh, for video size, I always select the wider screen 4096 by 2160 4K uh, at 24 frames per second. 24 frames per second is... Uh, what our eye most naturally blends together for video, and it's what's used in most professional looking footage. So once you selected your video size, you're gonna head over to file format. I chose MOV because I added on Mac. If you added on Windows, you might wanna choose MP4, uh, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference either way. Um, so after that, we'll head down to NTSC slash PAL. I always pick NTSC because it allows you to shoot in that 24 frames per second. Uh, for white balance, this is a big one. You're always gonna wanna shoot at a custom white balance or a fixed white balance. This is because if you don't, your white balance can change mid shot, which makes it really hard to uh, correct in post. So for me, I always just choose custom between 5,000 and 6,000 because I'm always flying outside. So you're getting that standard daylight temperature. I tend to shoot around the 5,000 mark because I like a little bit of cooler footage. Uh, if you like warmer, uh, summer vibey feel, I would suggest shooting at a higher Kelvin or maybe around 6,000, but anywhere between 5,000 and 6,000 is gonna look good in most areas with this drone. All right. Next, we'll head over to the style menu. For me, I like to turn down sharpness, saturation, and contrast all the way to negative three. This makes the footage so much easier to work with in post and gives you a much cleaner image. Uh, all you have to do is pull these back in post when you're color grading your footage. So finally, we'll head over to the color menu. I personally shoot D-Log. I have been shooting log for a long time. It is really difficult sometimes to keep noise out of the shadows and just noise out of the image in general, honestly. It does give you a really high dynamic range, and if you can learn how to work with it, it's an awesome picture profile, but it's just tough to deal with the noise. So if you don't have a ton of experience in grading footage, I would honestly recommend d -Cinelike. As a picture profile, you can set a much lower ISO. Your footage is gonna be much easier to work with in post. But, you know, play with both options, see what you like best, see what works for you. And that pretty much wraps up this video for the cinematic settings for the DJI Mavic Pro. If this video helped you out, it'd be sweet if you'd leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. Later.